Good afternoon. I'm Joseph Jenkins, director of the UCI School of Education's Theater of Translation Project, now in its fifth year at Title I high schools close to this campus. I'm here to tell you what we face this year in this almost post-pandemic, almost post-Trump year, and how we grappled with it, supported by OIE. Students in Title I high schools are caught more than ever now between different worlds. They need ways to figure out who they are and what they want to be, but they're wedged between conflicting, unforgiving value systems, clashing race and gender norms, opposing faith and class beliefs. Writing is a way of sorting through these kinds of challenges. But too often, schools present writing to students as a, a punishing chore, a rigid routine, with rules that almost always tell you that you're wrong, <laughs> especially if you come from a different language background. What we've done this year at Tustin High School is exhilarate the writing. We build a theater company to surround and enliven the task. We brought in not just their theater class, but also eight UCI undergrads, close to them in age, but landed already in college and ready to mentor. We propose to these 20 high schoolers resilience as our guiding theme, how pro-social behaviors, engaging in communities, practicing generosity and caring can help us to process and actively resist discriminations both systemic and intended and other injustices. The final show was staged just two weeks ago and some of you were there. It followed 15 weeks of the most unrigid process you can imagine. <laughs> Usually we start with improv games to find out what's important to the high schoolers. We try to tease out the beginnings of scripts but this year, COVID was peaking when we started and keeping us apart. The Tustin schools were open, the teachers, frontline workers, but UCI was closed off and strictly online, and I couldn't require the undergrads to come. And so I orchestrated Zoom calls, uh, which was not ideal <laughs> for a program supposed to begin with improv games and uh, getting to know you. But we shouldered on. And by the final staging, we'd found new ways to cohere as a troop. In fact, our own struggle overlapped our writing theme, resilience from working together and facing challenges. A small theater company, poor in material wealth, but rich in creative purpose and collaborative practice is a great resilience training place. The stories the students wrote this year more gripping than in the past, the concerns of a Title I high school student, both pre and post Corona and Trump, tend to stay fairly close to home. In each of our five years, love and tensions with parents, relations with friends, bullying problems at school, but this year, the scripts touched on far more disturbing societal trends. For instance, rape and teenage pregnancy, Mother and daughter helping each other not to let this ruin the daughter's career plan. Another scene treats a father's fears of giving his newborn daughter a traditional Mexican name, Rosalina, that he and his wife had chosen together in Mexico before they immigrated to the U.S. This father worries, and it almost breaks his marriage. I didn't write this. The kids wrote this that a Mexican-sounding name might block his daughter's future in the U.S. In another script, a high schooler's father complains she should be getting better grades as repayment to him for the sacrifice of leaving behind in Mexico a marriage so that she, the daughter, could prosper here. I'll close by telling you what I told the high schoolers on our last day. I said, what I'm hoping for you is that what you've done here has given you a taste of what it's like to be a writer. The satisfaction brought from having written something that you decided to write 
and followed through. What you may write will very rarely change the world entirely, but it will change you if you keep at it. And what better way to keep the writer writing than to do it as part of a theater troupe that writes and makes community, working through its disagreements, getting closer in the process. This is a form of resilience that turns subjects into authors, authorities, actors into activists. Three of our high schoolers this year in a post-project survey laid out some themes they felt had emerged, and they're explained so elegantly that I'll just read out what they wrote. First student, quote, we can be resilient every day, every time we overcome obstacles. Clearly thinking of our class. A second student saw resilience in, quote, the struggle to form one's identity as a first-generation immigrant. And now the third, I admit, is my favorite. And uh, these words are, feel like basic substance. Quote, everyone has their own story to share. It's important to listen to each other's stories. That's it, thank you. Oh, and help me recognize now our eight undergraduate TAs who went for 15 weeks to Tustin High with me. And thank you to all of you, especially OIE, for your support. Theater of Resilience.